Hold up. Hey, boy. Hey, y'all. Uh, went out and did a little shopping today. Uh, of course, that was my last shopping experience there. And I'm, my budget's getting really tight now. But uh, there's my 32-inch monitor I bought for the computer room. And, and there's uh, the set that I bought for Mom up there for her bedroom. So now she can see and hear everything real well. But uh, I got some really good uh, friends on here that uh, actually are trying to, you know, they actually... You know try to steer me in the right direction and everything and uh, I really do appreciate it and uh, I like the way they do it too they'll actually email me instead of trying to call me out on on one of my videos or something and you know pull it to my attention well maybe Fritz I might maybe do it this way or maybe you need to get this specific tool it might help you out a lot and you know which I really do appreciate so um, I know I've just been hesitant about getting well pow the micron gauge um i went out and got it today jason uh had to had to brother i just couldn't i couldn't afford that yellow jacket it was like 329 bucks and i believe i gave 130 for this um i actually actually talked to my consigliere uh dallas this morning i believe it was uh 7:30 his time but uh, anyway i always get I always talk to him so uh great guy but uh he said he's actually had this uh this unit right here for I believe he said eight eight years now, and uh, he really loves it. And also, Jason advised me to, uh, you know, you can't only buy one thing now. <laughs> he advised me to get these valve stem uh, valve core removers here, and uh, so actually, I guess I can remove my valve stem, isolate my unit, and be able to pull the vacuum. You know, we just turn this uh, this uh, this uh, ball valve here and isolate the unit. So, of course, while I was out, I couldn't. Well, pow! <laughs> I had to go ahead and get me a set of these yellow jackets too. A lot of times I may have to leave the job, and I don't want to lose these either. But it's be a lot better than getting these taken than having my freaking testo stolen. So what I'm going to utilize these for, y'all, is uh, this is going to be for Virgin refrigerant lines only. Uh, Virgin only. You know the system. The it doesn't know whether it's 22 or 410A if it's you know if it hasn't been opened yet. So this will just be Virgin for Virgin use. If uh, I'm going to be like changing a compressor out on old lines or something. I'll uh, I'll actually pull out my old set of gauges and, and, and run that if it's 22 or, or whatnot. But uh, anyway, let me get this stuff uncrated and everything. And uh, like I said, I'm not real sure how to really use this. Uh, Dallas was telling me there's several different ways we can hook this up. So maybe I might try a brief scenario of how I'm going to do it. And maybe uh, some of y'all can give me some of your input. I'd uh, greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much. Hey y'all, while I was out there getting my pump uh, so we can do like a little simulation of how to use the back, uh, the micron gauge here, a uh, postman walked up to me and said, I got a package for you, Fritz. And I said, you do? And I checked it out and take a look here. It's from John, my buddy Heavy Diesel from the United Kingdom. Shipped it here to Fritz Rochester in Kentucky. Look at there, there's the queen. Royal Mail. Oh my goodness, man. Man, I'm gonna take this in the house. Uh, I'll uncrate this inside, John. Thank you so much, buddy. Let's take a peek at this here in a minute. Well, for 134 bucks, you'd think they'd put a battery in there. Oh well. Okay, y'all. We've got the uh, the Supco uh, digital vacuum here uncrated. It says hold it on there for three seconds and it should illuminate. Okay. This is the Supco V64. All right. ATM is uh, microns. So I guess you can go over to the scale. And there's your microns, PSIA, inches of water column, M bars, Pascals, Tors, M Tors, and microns. And that's what we'll be utilizing. Okay, let me turn it off. Oh, nifty difty. Got a little hanger on there. Don't get jealous, Tank. <laughs> I like the way you did your magnet on yours. All right, buddy. Okay, y'all, we've got our core remover here. So what we're basically going to do here is I will, you know, we'll, uh, we'll have the valve, we'll have the valve itself open. And what we'll do is we'll uh, take and we'll unthread our Schrader. And then we'll pop our Schrader back. This is still sealed here. Then we'll isolate by closing our ball valve here. This is attached to the unit now. This is, this is uh, suction or liquid side, either or. Uh, I've got two of them. 
so basically I guess what I'll do is then this is isolated now right here I'll pop this off here and we'll take and we'll screw it onto here so now we're attached to the unit and we've got the ball valve isolated so once we get joined here we'll see these actually have Schraders in them also so what I'm gonna do basically is I'm just gonna pull on the vac on the suction side I guess and leave this capped unless y'all think I should you know cuz I'm not gonna be able to afford to buy two freaking vacuum uh, gauges um, so what I'll do is I'll just leave this capped here and the reason I did this anyway was just I guess so I could pull the Schrader so it would be a more intense vacuum so what I've done now was I've actually alright after that we've got our Schraders pulled and this one's actually hooked right here into the suction side of the unit I'm gonna open that dude up she's ready to rock and what I've done is I've taken another hose an isolation hose and I've taken it back up to my uh, my uh, micro on my vacuum my vacuum gauge does that seem right guys okay y'all uh, heck uh, I basically collect these bags I must have like 30 of them but uh, heck I guess this is gonna be my new uh, uh, micron bag, uh, isolation bag. Got my gauge right there. Got these nice little doodahs that uh, uh, Jason turned me on to. Actually found some Schrader valves just in case I were to drop some like I usually do. And in here I was able to roll up that new set of hoses and gauges so I reckon we're ready to rock guys. Um, yeah any input would be uh, but be very grateful and uh, I appreciate uh, everything y'all have done for me thanks so much I'm anxious to get in there and see what John sent all right bear with me hey y'all uh, came up here to uh, upload my video and uh, I was checking out Jason's video I've been checking it out a couple times today it's pretty pretty daggone good but uh, came up here I've been waiting all day to unpack this well for a couple hours now i've been kind of anticipating what what john sent me here man my good buddy heavy diesel from the united kingdom and there's the queen and it looks like i guess whenever we mail anything from country to country we had to go through a customs declaration a declarante okay let's see what we got in here john what do you send me buddy Oh my God, it's full of peanuts. All right, hold on. Let me, let me uh, get to it before uh, I make a big mess here. Hold on, bud. Hey, y'all. Man, Heavy Diesel, John. Uh, me and him were talking before. And, you know, my last name's Rochester. and um, I'm very proud of my, my English history. And I was just fooling around with him, telling him that, you know, once I paid the taxes off on my Rochester Castle right here, that uh, I'd be coming home. And... Uh, I'd be daggone if John didn't go out and actually shoot me a video here and you know he's saying that's Fritz's house there and it's one incredible video so he really knew I was into this stuff and uh, he said he gets into it too yeah, so in the incredible incredible video here beautiful it's one of the oldest castles in England and that uh, the uh, cathedral I believe is the second oldest in England so uh, it's been through it's been through a lot. This castle has, but that's what she looked like before, back in the day. But uh, y'all need to check that video out John made right there, man. Uh, he's running all over that castle. But uh, anyway, man, uh, he sent me these coffee mugs here, and I guess in England we call them beakers. But uh, here's the Rochester Castle. And this one here's got a bunch of knights on it. I guess those are my, you know, my great 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 grandpa and stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, man, he sent me this book here. Look, it's freaking fantastic, man. Oh, I love it. I love it, John. I love it, brother. It's got everything to do about the castle, the layout of the castle. Oh my God, man. John, thank you so much, buddy. I I, I, sh I surely do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, man. Uh, 
y'all thanks for watching and i appreciate all y'all's help thanks again john take care buddy bye